Let me ask you, some emails disclosed last year via a FOIA request showed that you briefed a funders-only session at a left-leaning grant-making foundation called the Energy Foundation about FERC 2022 priorities. Who were the donors who attended that session? The, there were not, there was not fundraising in the uh, meeting you ask about. It was a convening of foundation staff um, from across the country, and I was having a very kind of straightforward, above-the-board conversation about 2022 priorities. Um, subject to my ethics agreement and any ex parte restrictions, I have an open-door policy, so I meet with all kinds of stakeholders. I've actually never said no to a meeting between either my staff taking it or, or myself. Well, wait, wait a minute. You, you, said it was, you said it was staff. The, 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 the FOIA information says it was a fund advertised as a funders-only session. The, I mean, donors. The, I'm not sure. It wasn't an advertised thing. There are foundations that work together. It was briefed as a funders-only session, meaning that there were donors there. So who were the donors? I... Uh, uh, I think it's important to understand that what my role to do is engage with, with these stakeholders. When I was invited to present to a group of foundation staff, just like when I'm invited to present to the board of... I, I don't understand what you're saying. You keep using the word staff. The information says that there were funders present. There were donors. I want to know who the donors are. I, who were the donors? I, I'm, I'm, you give me a list? I'd be happy to. I Good. don't remember specifically, but I'd be happy to. Good. Was there money raised at the event that you spoke at? No. What were the FERC 2022 priorities that you spoke with this donor group about? I gave my standard uh, speech that I give when I speak to any convening of stakeholders who participate in the sector. You it, use it, stakeholders now several times. Does that include industry donors? Is that a definition of stakeholder now, our major donors? Yeah. I think Do you think it's appropriate that you would be giving closed-door briefings to donors? No, and I didn't do that, sir. The, the what do you mean you didn't do it? The, this is, this is, the information says that it was a funders event. It was a funders only session not, at, a, at a, a, a foundation that raises money from donors. I provide my stump speech on my own FERC priorities to many different kinds of groups. Donors? Any convening. Some of them might be donors in any capacity. Um, certainly, I Did any of those donors who were present that day have a financial interest in the industry, energy industry? Almost everyone I speak to has a financial interest in the energy industry. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is a normal practice of yours to speak to groups that have financial interest, interest in your industry? So when I go and I talk to the board of EPSA or the EEI CEOs or the interstate pipeline member companies, all of whom I have spent time with, the idea is that subject to ethical responsibilities and also my ex parte restrictions, I engage with them. I tell them my priorities. Do, I get their do you think it's appropriate, my time is running out here, do you think it's appropriate to speak to advocacy groups at a donors only session? Do you think that that's appropriate? I think it is appropriate to speak with foundations who are interested in the energy. To their business. donor sessions? Wow. Wow. I have to say, I. I think that that's pretty problematic. I would like a list of the donors. Uh, I'd like to know who was there. Um, I'm concerned about this, what you've now described as a practice, pattern and practice of speaking to donor groups that have financial interests in the industry you are regulating. I think that's a big problem. If that's not currently foreclosed by law, we ought to foreclose it, Mr. Chairman. But you said that you do this on a regular basis. We'll probably follow up. I'm, I think I'm probably going to need to see a list of all the groups you've spoken to. I'm going to want to know the donors that you've spoken to. I am extremely, extremely disturbed by what you have just told me. And at a time when we have major ethics issues, you know, we've got members of Congress buying and selling stock based on information that only they are privy to. We've got members of the executive branch who are buying and selling stock in industries that they regulate. And now we've got you speaking to donors uh, in, in industries that you regulate, Senator, thank um, you. that's a problem. Go. Senator Cortez Masso asked uh, on this ethics issue, can we just go down the line? I know what the answer is as it respects uh, Ms. Clements, but for the rest of you. Uh, Chairman Phillips, do you speak to industry groups to donor meetings behind closed doors of donors who may have financial interest in your industry? No, yes, sir. Uh, next. No. You go ahead. I didn't speak at, at a donor's meeting. There was no donating happening, and you don't have to take my word for it. 
You can talk to my agency ethics official who see, saw no problem and has not seen any problem with any of the meetings I've taken during my term. But it, it was a funder, it was a, it was a meeting of funders, donors. You're, you're saying that there were no donations solicited, right? These are policy-focused foundations who participate in the sector by making grants, just like PE shops make investments, just like CEO utilities make investments. There was no inappropriate conversation that took place. If I, well, if, if I can interrupt just one second, make, make sure I understand. I think what's the, what, we're, what the senator is trying to get to, did any of you know you are going to a donor-sponsored event? There's going to be donors. My goodness, special interest is everywhere. You know, everybody's. But going and speaking in generalities of what you do, what your thoughts are, and what the, you all probably have all been in those, and you don't, you, you didn't go and solicit saying, well, I'm going to a, a donor to give them a little bit of red meat, what they want, so they'll give more. Is that correct? Is that, is that where you're going, Senator? Well, I, I'm disturbed by the idea that, that anybody, and this is why I was, I was worried when Senator Cortez Masso asked the question, everybody answered yes. I just want to be sure that we're not going to events that are funders only events. Funder means donor. That are donor events. You mean advertises one? Correct. Yes, okay. sir. Does any of yeah. them advertise as donor yes. events? Yes, sir. As this one was. What? What about you, sir? Do you, Do you Do you speak? Not to my knowledge. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I would hope. I would hope not. And I'm. Uh, we'll, we'll have a lot of questions for the record on this. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to clarify that. No problem. I'm, I'm alarmed by it. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. 